Matt, Dirty Math Teacher, Marble Slides, Parabolas. Let's go. Here we are on slide one. Here's the goal, get all the stars. Get to know parabolas. Okay, it's an exploration activity. We're gonna try to figure out how parabolas work, I guess. First screen is easy, just click on launch. You get the general idea of what's going on. You launch the marbles, collect the stars, yada, yada, yada. You've probably done this before. Screen two, fix it number one. Change the sign of one number in the row below to fix the marble slide. So right now, there's an issue with the parabola. If we launch as it is right now, it's just gonna collect the marbles. It's not gonna do anything other than collect, touch that first star. So we need to flip that parabola over so that it kind of forms a hill that the marbles can roll down. So play with the numbers. There's four different numbers you can play with. Three that really do anything, um, or all four do something, but um, three that are significant to us, at least in this activity. If you play around with the 0.1 or the 1 tenths in the front right there, you'll quickly find out that as the, as the number gets bigger, the parabola gets narrower. So go back to 0.1 or 1 tenth. It's pretty wide right now, so we just need to flip it over. Now, how do you flip it over? Well, you can make it negative and it'll flip it'll flip over. But let's say you didn't know that, and, and let's just assume that you're gonna play around with all the other numbers. So if we play around with the two and the eight, let's see what happens. Okay, so if we play around with this one, we change it to a three or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should notice that what happens is that parabola is going to shift over to the right side of the x-axis. We're gonna go back to two. Play, let's play around with the eight, all right? And as you move around with that number, if you, let's say, go lower, five, four, three, two, and one, the parabola will move up and down the y-axis. So three things that you need to pick up here. Uh, that first number will change, first of all, the direction, if it's positive or negative, whether it's opening up, up or down. Uh, it'll also change how wide or how narrow the parabola is. That number inside the parentheses with the x will change where on the x-axis the parabola is going to be centered. And finally, the last number, that eight number there, is going to determine how high or high lo how low on the y-axis it's gonna be. This is actually called the vertex form. Basically, it tells you where the vertex, or that little tippy endpoint, is going to be. So in this case, because that's a two and that's an eight, we can tell that the vertex is here at two comma eight. We need this to flow downward, so let's make this negative. Uh, where did my mouse go? We're gonna make this negative. And that's that's pretty good as it is. So all we did was change that first uh, number to be, become negative and when we launch, it'll collect all the stars because it forms a little hill that I talked about where the marbles can roll down. Screen three is just a reset screen. Moving on to screen four, fix it number two. We need to change the row below to fix the marble slide. So as it is right now, if we click on launch, the marbles are just gonna fall straight down. So we need to move this, or somehow change this parabola to be able to click those marbles and do what we want it to do. So we could do one of two things. We could either move the parabola over to the left, uh, further left down the X axis, or we can make it wider. I'm gonna try making it wider. So remember, how do you make it wider? Well, if you change that first number, the higher it goes, or the greater that number becomes, the narrower it becomes. So we want this to be less than two. Let's try one, let's try one half. Uh, one half seems to work. And so if we launch it as it is right now, just by changing that first number, what's gonna happen is you'll collect three of the stars, but because that thing launches uh, so so far, you're not gonna hit that last star. So. We could do a couple things. We could move it over some, but I don't really want to do that. I think what I really want to do is change this domain restriction because that way maybe the, the ball will get launched higher and, and so they won't fly as far. So let's change this to a six. Let's see uh, how it works with six. Okay, so they don't launch as far, but six is even uh, a little bit too far. So let's go to seven. And there we go, I think seven will work. Success. Uh, will eight work? I'm just curious. Eight, okay, eight's too, uh, too far down. It, it, it won't even launch the balls because uh, there's not enough momentum for the balls to, to fly at the end. So you want to stick with seven as, as, as a good point uh, without changing too much uh, in, this, uh, in this equation here, or in this function here, I should say. All right, screen five. Fix it number three. 
change two numbers in the row below to fix the marble slide. I think we changed two numbers in the previous screen, so we're gonna change another two numbers here. Um, let's see. As it is, we're, we're probably gonna change two different numbers, I'm guessing. Um, right now, the parabola's a little bit too far left down the x-axis, so I wanna move it over. So how do we do that? Uh, it's this number right here. We don't want it at negative two. We probably want it over here at five or six. Let's try six. Um, now, have no fear. What's going on is the domain restriction, but um, that side of the parabola, I think, is a little bit too far, so um, I want to I want to make it seven, and then let's change the domain restriction to go at, go to at least nine. I'm thinking, even nine seems like it's a little bit too much. Let's go to eight. How about that? Let's see how that works. Okay, yeah. So not the prettiest because it, it kind of barely hit that last star, but it, it worked. Good enough for me. Okay. Uh, screen six, six at number four. Change one number in the row below to fix the marble slide. What's wrong with it right now? I think. I think methinks that uh, this domain restriction is a little too short. Let's change it to three. Maybe that'll work. So the only one is change one number, and that's what I did. So let's see, three, and yeah, that'll work. Okay. So it was just a matter of changing the domain restriction. Screen seven, prediction number one. Now, if you remember in my Marble Slides lines activity, what you wanna do is pause the video, make your prediction, type whatever you want in there, go to the next screen, and so that's what we're gonna do. I will meet you at the next screen. Welcome to screen number eight. If you did the right thing and pause the video and try to write your prediction, let me tell you what I'm thinking, just kind of out loud so that you have an idea of how to think about this problem. Verify number one, uh, they wanna know if we change the 0.2 to a negative four, what would happen? Well, if you remember in screen two, how to think about this, this first number, what it does is it changes two things. Either is it gonna open up, up or down based on whether it's positive or negative, and then based on how, well, what, the, what the absolute value of the number is, it's, gonna, it's going to change uh, how uh, wide or how narrow the parabola is going to be. And so, uh, if we, first of all, if we're gonna go from a positive to a negative number, it's gonna open up downward. So, just by not changing the number, but actually just changing the sign right there, you'll see that it does open up downwards. And then the other thing is going from a 0.2 to a four, right? So the absolute value of 0.2 is much smaller than four, which means it's gonna be wide. Changing it to a four is going to make it much more narrow. And so if you said that changing from a positive 0.2 to a negative four makes it open up downwards and become more narrower, you are absolutely correct because that's exactly what it does. Screen number nine, prediction number two, you know the drill. I will see you on the next screen, make your prediction. Screen 10, we're going to change the negative three to a positive two. This can be a little bit confusing because you might think just changing that two, what'll happen, but what they really want you to do is change that X minus three to become X plus two. If you remember back to screen two, inside the parentheses is it determines uh, how far down the line or the X axis that this parabola is going to rest. So right now it's at negative three or, or it's at three. If you click right here, you'll see that the vertex of that parabola is at three comma one where the X value is three, that's the lowest point. And so you want they wanna know, well, what happens if you change that minus three to a positive two? Well, if the minus three is on the positive side of, uh, of this number line, you would imagine that a positive two is going to be on the other side. So the prediction should be it's going to move or shift over where the vertex uh, rests at negative two comma one. And sure enough, if you change that minus three to a plus two, that's exactly what happens. The vertex is now at negative two comma one. If you got that right, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a thousand dirty math points because those points mean absolutely nothing, but at least you got the problem right. Alrighty, screen number 11, prediction number three. This is the third time we've done this. You know the drill, see you on the next screen. All right, screen 12, we're gonna verify number three, change the equation below to see if your prediction from the last screen was correct. And so if we change that one to a negative two, what would happen to the graph? Okay, so let's, let's think about this, okay? So in the first prediction, they had us change whether it opens up up or down uh, and how wide the parabola is gonna be. Second prediction, what they did was they moved over the parabola on the x-axis. This last number, if you remember from screen two, does the final thing, it moves the parabola up or down. So right now it's at one. If we change that one to a negative two, what happens? Now if you said, if you correctly predicted, 
that it's going to shift down the vertex of the parabola right now, which is at what? Uh, 3 comma 1. If you said that it's going to shift it down to 3 comma negative 2, you are absolutely correct because that's where it is going to land, 3 comma negative 2. Now, if you didn't get that right, play around with it. I encourage you to do whatever you need to um, because making mistakes is how we learn, so don't feel bad. Uh, but play around with the numbers until you get familiarized with what's happening uh, with the vertex form of this equation. Screen 13, prediction number four. Your friend won't get many stars like this. Uh, what changes would you make? So, um, so right now first, ah, uh, you caught me slipping. Uh, I almost told you the answer on this screen. By now you know better. Let's go to the next screen. Screen 14, you should have made your prediction without cheating. Don't cheat. And um, the thought you should have had was, first of all, is this parabola opening up in the right direction? The answer is no, because right now, it's not anywhere near the launch point, okay? So, let's think about this strategically. We want this kind of to, to be like one of those first things that we did. We want this to open up downwards. So first things first, we need to change this to a negative, and then we need to make it wider, right? We don't want it at two, we want it at uh, 1 over 7, 6, oh no, we want it to go bigger, 8, 9, 10, 9, maybe 10, maybe even 10. 10. 10 looks like it might work, okay? So, that's that. Let's also shift this over so that the vertex is, is closer to the launch point. Where's the launch point? At 6. So we want this 2 to actually be a 6. How did I determine that? Well, the vertex is at 2. So if I change this to a six, now we'll have the vertex here at six. I hope you caught that. Lastly, we need to shift this up a little bit. So we don't want this at four. We want this to be, well, what is this? Uh, eight, nine, 10. We want this to be at 10. Let's go to 10. And as it is right now, I, I, I kind of overestimated this. We need this to be a little bit narrower. So let's go down to eight, nope, seven, six. Uh, seven might work. But six might work too, let's stick with six. One over six. All righty, and then sure enough, there we go. So this isn't the only right answer. Obviously you can do a couple other things. You can make this a decimal, you can uh, make this a seven. I think it would work with a seven. In fact, let's see if it does. I'm a little curious, because I think you'll still be able to touch at least one of those vertices of the star there. So yeah, seven works. So. Do what you need to. All you need to do is collect the stars anyway and get some practice about how to draw these parabolas. All right, if you've made it to screen 15, congratulations. This is part one of this Marble Slides Parabola uh, video. We're going to continue the next part in part two of this video series just because it gets a little bit too long if I make it one long video. So see you on part two.